Installing the passenger kit on your electric XP3.0 is fairly straightforward. It consists of three components. There's the passenger grab handle, passenger foot pegs, and the passenger seat. So we're going to start with the passenger foot pegs. For the whole installation, you'll need a 17 millimeter combination wrench and a 5 millimeter Allen key. So you can start by removing the existing axle nuts in the back. And replacing with the foot pegs. Second step is to add the passenger seat. Installing the rear seat is a toolless process. You're going to align these holes with the bolt heads. When you flip it upside down, you're going to want this clamp to tighten against this cross beam. And then this clamp is going to tighten against these front to back rails. So for the back, you're going to have to rotate it 90 degrees to get it to slide in. Slide in the front side first, then the rear. Then you can rotate the rear, the rear clamp to align with the front to back rails and you can go ahead and tighten the knob making sure the plastic clamp stays aligned and you're just hand tightening and for the front you gotta make sure the plastic clamp is on top of this cross rail as you tighten this that's it you're set now I do find that this seat flaps when going over rough surfaces and you do hear this I may look at adding some rubber pieces here to damp that noise now the final remaining piece is a passenger grab handle. It's just a simple bracket with two five millimeter Allen head bolts. And you can remove the seat, slide the bracket on, put the seat back in place. Now, if you have the suspension seat post, you wanna make sure that when you tighten this down, you're not tightening down on the suspension. So you wanna align your seat with the frame, tighten your seat clamp down, then align, align the handle with the frame, then tighten it down the rest of the way. If you have the suspension seat post installed, that's as low as you'll be able to put the seat into the frame. You can go higher, but you'll be limited to this position. It does reduce how far down you can go with the seat by a couple of inches here. If you need to accommodate a shorter driver, then you may have to do away with the suspension seat post so you can get down a little bit lower. A side benefit of having the passenger foot pegs installed is that you can use a, a motorcycle style stand and raise the bike onto the stand which you know could make certain brake adjustments uh, wheel cleaning tasks easier it may also make cleaning your chain a little bit easier one negative to the passenger foot pegs is that when you unlatch the bike and fold it you will have the passenger foot peg contacting the front brake disc which is not ideal and because i have the passenger peg this is an issue in the design this actually contacts the brake rotor in the front so you have to be careful with that you really should want to you know put some kind of soft soft cap or something on this foot peg so this doesn't happen if you found this information useful, hit the like button and subscribe to be notified of future content. And stay tuned, I will be taking this out and doing a first impression ride with a passenger. And I'll give you some tips for riding with a passenger.